opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c-pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. d4 offers to trade the d-pawn for the c-pawn, giving up a center pawn for more active pieces. Nf6 develops the knight and attacks the undefended e4 pawn. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This blocks the check from an opposing bishop. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. After all captures, this is an equal trade. Recaptures. This kicks an opposing queen. This move puts the queen on a safer square. This threatens to kick a bishop. Master games. It is the last book move. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This is a fair move. It is good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to strike at the center with a pawn. It is a miss. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is best. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This misses a better way to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. This ignores a better way to recapture a piece. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is an inaccuracy. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a queen. It is a mistake. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins time by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. It is best. Right on target. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking knight. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This allows the knight to control more squares. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening.
That was a well-fought middle game that Black got the better of.